Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Matisse. Recently, I was gifted this old little cookbook dated 1925. The cookbook is full of recipes involving chocolate. And so I set up a poll on my Instagram where I asked you guys if you wanted me to make the chocolate cookies from this book or my classic blueberry muffins, and you guys chose the cookies. I'll be interested to see how this recipe has held up through time. I will say before starting though that it is really minimal. The whole recipe is just about a paragraph long, so there'll definitely be some guesswork in there. But without further ado, let's get right into these chocolate cookies. To make these chocolate cookies, I needed a third cup of softened butter, one cup of granulated sugar, two and a quarter cups of flour, three ounces of melted chocolate. It called for baker's chocolate, but I didn't have any, so I just used dark chocolate, one beaten egg, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter cup of milk, and a half teaspoon of salt. To start, I creamed together the butter and sugar for a couple of minutes until it was well combined. Next, I beat in the egg, followed by the melted chocolate. After that, I sifted in the flour, baking powder, and added in the salt. I mixed that until it looked crumbly, and then mixed in the milk. After that, the recipe said to chill the dough, but it didn't say for how long. I kept it wrapped in plastic in the fridge for about an hour, and then I rolled it out on a lightly floured cutting board. It didn't say how thin to roll it, so I just rolled my dough to about an eighth to a quarter inch thick. I used the glass to cut out the cookies since I didn't have any round cookie cutters. If you do use a glass like me, don't do what I did and knock it off and break it on the floor while you're rolling out your cookies. After I rolled and cut the cookies, the recipe said to bake them in a moderate oven. I decided to bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit because that's the temperature in which I typically bake chocolate chip cookies. After about 10 minutes, they looked ready to come out of the oven. I let them cool before taking them off the pan, and now I'm ready to give them a taste. Okay, so I have with me here uh, a piece of one of the chocolate cookies. I will say just from feeling it, it's not very dense. It seems like a very light cookie. But let's give this a taste. I would say this is not too bad actually. As I had guessed, it's a really light cookie. It's not super crispy, it's kind of more chewy and cake-like. The chocolate flavor isn't actually that strong, but I also kind of wonder if that's because last week I made the super fudgy chocolate brownies, and so that's what I'm basing my chocolate flavor off of. I will say it is a pretty plain looking cookie, it's not really decorated at all in the book. So I think that you could really spice this up and add some frosting or some other type of decoration that would make it look more appealing. I also think adding some frosting would add a new flavor and some more texture since the whole cookie is kind of the same soft texture right now. Some of the issues I have with it also could be me following the recipe since it was very vague. It didn't say a temperature to bake it at, or how long to chill it in the fridge before rolling it, or how thin to roll out the cookies. So all of that, I kind of just used my best judgment. Overall, I'd happily eat this if I was served it, but I wouldn't go seeking out this cookie. I'd probably rate it a 6 out of 10. It tastes good, but it's nothing super special. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoy videos like these, please do me a favor and click that like and subscribe button. Keep leaving your comments about what other things you want to see me make, and I'll see you all in the next video.